Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Tab for you, a very, very nice machine. Believe it or not, this is a 1997 L565, and let me educate you on what the L means. Most of you know, some of you guys don't. L means that this did not have auxiliary hydraulics on it, and LX in the New Holland had auxiliary hydraulics. That's the way they did it back then. These were produced down in Belleville, Pennsylvania, about 55 miles from here. I was lucky enough when I was a young kid to tour the plant because we had a cousin that worked there. Very cool machine, but this machine is truthfully what I'm going to call a survivor machine. Very clean. It is extremely clean. It was kept inside its whole life. Was a one owner from what we've researched over here. It's sold new at our local dealer. Uh, it is all original paint. It has never been touched up, and it is extremely clean. Um, gentleman was about 60 miles north of us is where it come out of. But it's just this very, very straight old L65, or 565. There's a lot of you guys out there that love these old machines. Um, here is one. Again, it's very tight. It is very clean. We did put a brand new bucket with it. As for the gentleman, kept his bucket for another new machine that he had purchased. Um, we're going to walk you around the engine compartment. We took a ton of photos of this machine. But we're going to walk you around and kind of show you. Back door is extremely, extremely straight. You can see how nice and straight and clean here everything is. The back door, when you open it, it does not fall down like generally all of them do. The zinc plating inside is still on everything. It had been at the dealer and been serviced on 12, 8 of 23 at 2,660 hours. There's 2,690 hours on it now. So we did not do another service on it because we only 30 hours on it. We did check everything. We did not find any abnormal blow by. It starts, it runs very, very well. Um, everything was clean, just like you see it. We did rinse it off. We did actually wax this machine. The engine panels are probably some of the nicest set of engine panels I've ever seen on one of these machines. Generally, they're, by this time, they're getting all bent and twisted. These fenders, they're generally all bent and smashed. There's one ding right here on that corner. Other than that, you can see how straight and clean it is. Chain case, you can see all across the sides is very nice, clean, straight. The original tie-down decals are still on it. The boom is not welded or busted back here is where they would break. A lot of these tubes here would bust. The wear strip will show you inside the boom. There's a channel here as the booms wear. It rubs against the cab. It's not doing that on the machine. One negative thing, this right here, this little spot, there's a little bend right here on that cap protector. Brand new CID Extreme 66 inch long bottom bucket, which is the correct bucket for this machine so you can see the cutting edge. Standard two pin skid loader quick touch is extremely tight. None of the cylinders are leaking. Uh, you can see up front here, everything there is very, very nice and clean. Original decal is on there. I did go over to New Holland and I bought a new seat. That was 270 something dollars from them, $300. All of the stuff is still hooked up as far as the safety stuff, which I'm gonna buckle my seat belt here. Give me one second. So, 2,691 hours, temperature, hydraulic temperature, tack, and then volts, and give it one second, rev it up, 13.7. The headlights all work, fuel gauge works, service run switch, all that's over there. You can see just, it's a very, very nice old machine. Throttle, um, actually the parking brake worked. So, you can see inside the cab how clean it is. I'm gonna fire it up, we're gonna run it around here. I'm gonna show you everything it's supposed to do. Here we go. Not a bad old skid loader. You can't 
stand by a lot for what I'm asking for this thing. It is all original paint. Tires are down. You don't need a set of rubber coming off. But I priced it accordingly. still works generally by this time the freaking things are all bypassed and guys have cut wires we have a local guy who has the freaking dash and his everything's bypassed it but there again this thing was taken care of uh, nice old machine very clean very straight I'd say you'd be hard-pressed to find another one like it truthfully in the market uh, if you got any questions 814-658-3066 please check out our website www.marksupplyco.com Keep in mind, it is standard two-pin skid loader quick attach. It'll fit anything out there quick, standard skid steer quick attach, but it does not have auxiliary hydraulics. Not hiding that. Just want everybody to know that. I know that there is guys out there that love these machines because they're a smaller, compact machine uh, for in the barns, for loading hay, different things like that. Perfect machine for that. 814-658-3066. Thanks. Always for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a good day.